Hi everyone and welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon VGC 2019 Battle Series. I hope you're all well, had a great weekend and thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you're ready to go with some more Pokemon action today. As you can see it is Monday and we have a new team to take forward this week on the channel and because we are moving into a new series next week which is going to replace our daily battle series just for temporarily until the season ends, we will be having a bit more fun on the channel this week where I personally decide what team we play rather than you guys are going to have the opportunity to decide going forward from next week when we start our Road to Rank Roulette series, which is going to be hopefully a lot of fun and something you guys are really going to look forward to and get behind and get involved with. And uh, the little perks and little changes and rules and things that we've got involved with the whole series, I think we'll keep it really fun and really fresh and just a lot of fun and entertainment going forward. So I'm really looking forward to it. I'd love to hear your opinions on that going forward. And uh, getting on to today's team, obviously, we've got Lunala once again. We've played Lunala the last couple of weeks on the the channel but it's going to be a little bit different this week because we have went down a more of a tailwind route with Lunala the last couple of weeks and we've got two teams to feature this week before we end up and go on to our new series next week so the team today that we're going to be featuring is going to be Lunala, Mega Mowile, Amoongus, Kyogre, Tapu Koko and Incineroar and it's really going to be a very Trick Room orientated team with the Trick Room setup being the Lunala. You've got support options with that Amoongus for redirection there. It's going to be also very good in Trick Room if we can get it in that situation. Mega Mowile obviously very slow Mega Pokemon that loves Trick Room so if we can get that in Trick Room we've got the Kyogre support with the Rain there to help it out. Tapu Koko going to be more of a faster variant and something that we can utilize. For the faster side of the team we've got Hidden Power Water on it we've got Life Orb so we can snipe those Primal Groudons unexpectedly especially in a best of one format I feel like that can work quite well and it's got the quick pivot as well as we've got a slow pivot with that Incineroar fake out and Intimidate support there as well team is always down in the description below there is a roll paste and a poker paste try it out if you would like and if you do as always do let me know what your thoughts are on the team and then getting on to the second team um, that we'll play later in the week so today tomorrow and for one game on Wednesday to keep everything even we'll play this team and then move Moving on to Wednesday's episode, the second part of Wednesday's episode, we'll move over to this team. And I need to give a big shout out to Fabian and um, Big VGC who has provided me with this team. I saw him playing with it and I thought, this is incredible. This team looks amazing. So it ticks a lot of boxes for what you guys have requested as well. Keeps with the Lunala theme as well. And we've got Mega Lopunny, Mega Mowile there. We've got Gastrodon as well that we've seen do so well at the recent Japanese National Championships. And then Tapu Koko and then the other side of the coin is Primal Groudon rather than Primal Kyogre so really nice kind of reflection on both sides of the the coin here with both of these teams but we're not going to be kicking off with this team this week so we'll keep that one for later in the week keep that anticipation going and uh, we'll kick off with this one today so as always guys if you do enjoy the sort of content please remember to leave a like on the video do subscribe to the channel for more Pokemon content which there will be a lot more of coming up in the future and also as always, leave your comments down below. We'll get some music on and we'll get started. So, information about the Road to Rank Roulette series that we'll be starting next week will be going up on the channel. So, do keep an eye out for that. All the information about it will be there. And time for you to start nominating those Pokemon that you would like to see featured in a crazy random team spun and decided by a Wheel of Fortune will be going live either today or tomorrow so get those nominations coming in and we'll do the draw on Saturday Sunday time uh, for the team for the following week and um, I will explain everything in the first episode as we kick off next week which will be as I keep saying a lot of fun I hope it's gonna be a lot of fun I feel like it will be I feel like it gives us a little bit more uh, a bit of a freshen up in VGC because we've had and we're kind of coming to the close of the season now we've got like US Nats this weekend and then you've got the World Championships of Obviously, but uh, aside from that we're kind of in limbo with we don't know what's happening next season so I feel like this is kind of something that's gonna give us a little bit more entertainment going forward and will be a lot of fun will be a lot of laughs I can assure you that but I've got a first opponent of the day so we'll hop straight into team preview more of that psychic spam from last week but this looks like, oh, it looks very familiar. It's not exactly the same as David Partington's team that he won the Bristol Regional Championships with, but he does have a, Mo a Murkrow, this person. Uh, no Tapu Koko, though, and the Tapu Lele there instead. We've got Dawnwings, Necrozma. We've got Tapu Lele, Groudon, Incineroar, Murkrow, and the uh, Smeagol. So what are we going to do? Trick Room here going to be really good for us, especially our Kyogre. If we can get Kyogre um, in a Trick Room, 
going to be good with our weather up. I think that can do a lot of work. Uh, I probably feel like I want a Moonga support more than anything. It feels a little bit clunky, but at the same time, um, having the redirection to allow us to get the Trick Room up around that Mercury that has Pranks, that has Taunt, uh, that could be a little bit problematic, could be good. I'm a little bit wary about uh, the Smeagol as well. And you know what? I think Tapakoko is probably the thing to bring here. Um, Lunala, let's bring Kyogre, and uh, do we want Mowile here? Mowile's good outside of Groudon, um, so I am going to bring it. I am going to bring it. We're going to lock in and do it. Going to bring the big guns to this first one today. I'm excited to use Mega Mowile as well. It's like one of my favorite Megas. Obviously, I had a lot of success with it in the 2014 season, so I have a lot of love for it. You know, it took me to top eight of Worlds that year. So I will never leave that that mantle in my head anyway, in my heart. So it's nice to bring it back. It's the first time we've used it this season as well. So I'm hoping with the Road to Ranked Roulette series that uh, we'll be able to throw it in a few more times. That'll be that'll be a lot of fun. We're going to see Necrozma and we're going to see Sneagle come up for my opponent. So we've fallen into the trap. The trap that we are going to get locked into where they can switch in Tapu Lele this first turn. And either go for an attack with Dawn Wings, or they can go for Spore into something. Um, this is why having our hmm, I mean, are they likely to do Fake Out the Tapu Koko? Definitely, definitely an option here. Um, or do they just Spore? I don't really, I'm not too sure if we can go for, I'll go for the Trick Room, I'll go for the Trick Room, and I'll go for the Volt Switch out onto the Necrozma. I do feel like Lele comes in here though, this is the trap that we, oh okay, we're going to see it just to follow me. Uh, I kind of don't mind this, as long as our Lunala sticks around. We'll take the, the Smeagol down to the Sash and we get our Tailwind up, I mean that, that would be ideal, really wouldn't it? Um, we'll get Mowile onto the field. I don't want to bring Kyogre on yet because I want to wait until like Groudon comes in and then we can switch in, disrupt their weather. Um, Mowile still going to be the slowest thing on the field no matter what happens here. Oh, we're going to see the reversal of the Trick Room. So my opponent trying to go for Trick Room as well, so that's interesting. Um... Yeah, so whether or not they're kind of scouting that we're going for the Trick Room or not, I'm not sure. Uh, okay, let's side shock the Smeagol. And I really want to Sucker Punch, but we're not going to be able to Sucker Punch if... Hmm. Like, the Smeagol definitely just follow me here. Follow me all day long, don't you? I don't know if my opponent is going to set up the Trick Room. Should we Mega Evolve and Sucker Punch, or Mega Evolve and Play Rough? I'm gonna Mega Evolve and Play Rough. Because I don't, like I don't want to Sucker Punch and just have a, a dead turn for more while here. If we Play Rough, the Psy Shock, if we do see the Follow Me, which we do, the Psy Shock should pick up the Knockout there, and then the Play Rough will go into the Dawn Wings. And if it does decide to set up Trick Room, then that's fine, I don't mind. Um, may not though. But we do get rid of the Smeagol. Gonna see a Z move. Yeah, so it's gonna actually be going into. Uh, we could, yeah, we couldn't have sucker punched here. I guess one thing that we could have potentially done was switched out. Oh, we'll okay, so into Lunala it does pick up the knockout there. Bit of a shame. We lose Lunala so freely. Uh, but we do get the play ref into that slot, and wow, uh, oh, crit! I feel kind of bad for my opponent with that happening. Uh, now we get Tapu Koko in. Depends what this Groudon build is as well. If it's a Trick Room build Groudon, then oh, it's going to be Tapu Lele. And there's the Groudon, big bad Groudon. Hmm. Psychic Terrain activating. Yeah, Scarf Lele. Oh, no. Could we make the, the cheeky play? 
switching Kyogre and Hidden Power Water Groudon. I feel like <laughs> I feel like I need to do it. I'm gonna just do it. Let's do it. Let's try. Unless I'm getting confused with the terrain, so I don't think I am. Because it shouldn't be Scoff Lele. But it's really little risk. Maybe Scrooge. Maybe. But we do get Ogre in. So that's... Uh, obviously the weather war is good. Yeah, yeah, so we're not. They should pick up the knockout. Life Orbs. Yes! Coco! The Groudon Killer. <laughs> There we go. So we should be able to wrap this one up. Skill swap coming out. Not going to really work, unfortunately. And uh, Coco, we can just fold switch out and scald. And we may see we may see a forfeit here. Because things aren't looking too good for my opponent. I mean, the big thing in this match for us was the, the critical hit onto the, the Dome Wings. We, play rough definitely wouldn't have picked the knockout there. I don't think so. So, um... I do feel a little bit bad for my opponent in that respect. It did kind of close the matchup a lot easier for us. Um, it would have been interesting to see without the crit how we would have been able to, to maneuver around there. But getting rid of the Smeagol does open the door for us to suck a punch and things like that. So um, we might have been alright. It might have been a bit more difficult. Um, but who knows. At least we got that hidden power water off. I put it on there and thought, are we ever going to use this? But first game in. And we're, we're getting going with it. Right, music, 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 music. Elite 4. Elite 4. I really hope. We've had loads of news with Sword and Shield uh, over the last couple of weeks, obviously, because of the, the, the Direct and then E3. I really hope, I did touch on it in my Sword and Shield kind of hope video for hopes, that we, we have a different setup to the Elite 4 or an end game to become the champion of the region. It would be amazing. We'll get into that more another time because we, we need to concentrate on this. We've got an next opponent, so looks like they've got a good team as well. So we'll hop straight over into team preview. Okay, our next opponent is running an uh, X, uh, 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 I can't even talk. It's an uh, XY team. I was wanting to say X-Ray for the, for the most time, but it's XY. Here we go, Eveltal and Xerneas. Then we've got Spawncast of Ferrothorn. We've got Vervillian. Uh, Vervillian has Tailwind, Rage Powder. Does have things like Powder as well. You need to watch out for Spore as well. No, it doesn't have Spore. It has Sleep Powder though. And then you're going to have the Mega of the team going to be Gengar. Going to have to watch out for that trapping from that side of things. And then Landorus Therian wrapping things up with that Intimidate support. Complements the XY kind of combination quite well. Uh, Trick Room here going to be really good for us again. We do need to be a bit careful around that Ferrothorn here. Um, so Incineroar really going to be very strong in this matchup for us. Um, I do want to lead with it. And I think I'll lead Incineroar and Lunala. Um, do we want Kyogre? Kyogre. I think we probably do. Morwell is going to be amazing if we can get Trick Room set up here. Um, like, yeah. And then, yeah, let's go Kyogre. I mean, it could go on Moongus, but it's not really offering too much outside of being able to put things to sleep. So, yeah, I think we'll be alright. I think we'll be alright. Uh, it's just getting around the Veltal that does put on a lot of pressure to our Lunala, of course. Um, but with Intimidate support and Fake Out support, we might be able, we might be alright to get around it. So let's see how we get on with this one today. It's nice seeing these variations of team, and I think that's one of the beauties about the Ultra Series. You know, you see so much versatility. There's so many variations of, of teams that are viable and combinations that work together. Um, but yeah, we're not gonna we're not gonna have all of these Pokemon going into Sword and Shield, which I've got my own opinions on. I am gonna do some Sword and Shield. Um, like my opinions on, on the announcements of the, the National Dex and stuff like that. So I'll leave that for then rather than flood this video with it. Because we're going to see Gengar and Evelto come out for my opponent. Uh, I think we, uh, there's nothing wrong with us going. I mean the only thing we've got to worry about is if this Gengar goes for goes for Taunt. That would put us in a, a bad position going into the next turn. But then we're not in the worst position because if we do get trapped in. Lunala is one of the Pokemon that we can switch out. So I feel alright going for the Trick Room here. 
and fake out into the Veltal. Although we could see a taunt, and that's something we, we are conscious of, we, we do know. It's kind of risky taunting into a Lunala as well. And Gengar's not in the best of positions here. Um, so there's a fake out. Do we see the taunt? Substitute. Well, I don't mind that at all, really. Um, no. Okay. Okey doke. Um, right. We do need to get Lunala out of here. 100%. Um, I'm going to snarl. I know it won't get rid of the, the Gengar sub. Or do I snarl? There's, there's the Gengar attack here. The Gengar's gotta be wary. Because we could potentially U turn as well. Ah, oh, our opponent our opponent has disconnected. How dare they? I'm gonna U turn and I'm gonna actually switch out Lunala into Mowal. Well. Yeah. But it doesn't matter whatever happens there, because our opponent had connectivity issues. Which is a little bit sad, but that does mean we're going to get another game today. I guess that game doesn't really count, does it? But it does give us more time to talk about Sword and Shield stuff. So yes, I am planning on doing some content on Sword and Shield. I really want to do a lot of content in the lead up to Sword and Shield. Um, my opinions, my thoughts, my theories, and things like that on stuff. So um, obviously with stuff going on at the minute, I haven't really had the time to do it. But I feel like in the next couple of weeks, especially once we get caught up with the Flinch Squad circuit... Then we're going to be able to do that sort of content, and uh, I will definitely. Lo I'd love to just give my opinions on on uh, some of the decisions that have been made, especially the announcements at E3, uh, just the the direct that we had, some of the new Pokemon that we've got that look <laughs> really cool, um, and just kind of yeah, and we can delve into some theory and what stuff's going to be like as well. We've got Lemoncello again from Italy, my man, my man. So we play this guy I think last week on the channel uh, or maybe the week before uh, but very cool username obviously went into lots of details about my my thoughts on limoncello and Johnny kindly said that he's going to provide me with some authentic Italian limoncello to change my mind on it so I look forward to that but we'll get into team preview and we'll look at this team because it's kind of similar to ours. We've got dual primals though, which is really, really nice. Uh, you're going to see Tap Coco, the Persian, Alolan Persian there. You're going to have Cresselia going to be the main trick room setter of the team. So trick room going to be probably the thing that my opponent goes for. I see wind potentially on the Cresselia as well. You're going to have Groudon and Kyogre and then that Mega Mowile is the big hitters of the team. So what are we going to do about it? Um, okay, Persian can't really do too much to stop Lunala setting the trick room up. We do have to be a bit careful about that type of Coco coming out. I do want Incineroar, I think. I definitely want Kyogre. Do I want Amoongus here, though? Amoongus could be potentially quite good in this matchup. <laughs> Mega Mawile's going to be good as well. Um, it's just dealing with the, the, the opposing Kyogre. That, that, that's my biggest qualm, I think. Um... Maybe why I don't want to bring Mowile to this matchup. Although Mowile would be really good. And Groudon. Yeah, let's go with Mowile. I mean, at the end of the day, this is our last week playing, like, serious, serious, serious. Even though it's not mega serious, but we're playing semi-serious. So why not let's have a little bit of fun with it. Um, I think the, the Amoongus could have been very good in this match. Um... Because if you look at a lot of what my opponent's attacks are, like outside of the Kyogre and the Groudon, the, the, the threatening attacks that you would see from their side of the field are all single targets. So that redirection support there would be extremely useful. Um, okay, so we're going to see Persian and Kyogre come out. I think one thing that we've got makes it a little bit tricky going into this first turn is... Um, the Persian just fakes out our Incineroar and then can free water, water spout, um, which isn't which isn't ideal. Um, so we could potentially switch into our Kyogre and Y God, um, but we're not getting any kind of progress with our. Do I stay in and snarl in case they attack into the Lunala? 
Because they could potentially just trade fake outs here, but I don't think you do. I think you fake out Incineroar, and I think you water spout. Although, you may not. You may not. So, okay, we're just going to see the Kyogre protect. We could have got a free Trick Room off here if we don't see a taunt. Um, hmm. Yeah, there's a taunt. Okay. Now we definitely see a double up from the Kyogre, I think. Um, into the Lunala. Just gonna have to, I think. Hmm. Now we either attack into the Kyogre with our Z move, which we should be able to if we can outspeed it and then switch into our own Kyogre. But that takes away our Trick Room option for this game. But I need to try and preserve Incineroar, I think, at this point. It cut our losses a little bit. <sighs> yeah, so even the trick going Trick Room there wouldn't have, wouldn't have happened. So It's just all about if we can outspeed the Kyogre. If we can, because we're going to get our Shadow Shield broken by the Persian. Um... And then hopefully we can get some decent damage onto this Kyogre to potentially take the next attack if they go for a water spout. But if the Kyogre is faster and we see a foul play. Oh, we're just going to see a parting shot. Okay. That's not as bad as it could be. Honestly. Uh, Groudon, maybe. Yeah, Groudon definitely doesn't come in now. You just totally throw your whole weather out the window and take away any ability to hit Lunala. So yeah, the Cresselia coming in, which is fine. We do add speed the Kyogre. Okay. I'd love to think my opponent will probably go okay, into the Kyogre here. So um, after parting shot, I'm not doing too much damage, but doing enough, I think. Origin Pulse coming out. Okay, that's not the end of the world. We know we're faster than the Kyogre, so we can go for Water Spout and a Moon Guys Beam into that Cresselia slot. It does leave the opposing Kyogre open, but I mean, we're still going to do a lot of damage to the Cress. It's just whether or not that Groudon comes in on the Kyogre slot, which is kind of what I was about to say before going into the Z move there. Rudely cut off by that animation, um, and I think that's what we're gonna see. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Chrysalis Rick sets up Trick Room now, but I don't mind this. I really don't mind if they do set up Trick Room now. I really don't mind. A taunt's gonna wear off at some point as well. Potentially the end of this turn, which gives us access to Wide Guard again. And we'll still get some decent damage onto this Cresselia with Moonglass Beam. And offensively, it's not really threatening too much. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Icy Wind, huh. Okay. Now, if it can maneuver our Incineroar onto the field now, our Taunt does wear off. Is it going to wear off? No, it's not worn off just yet. Mm. Hmm. Yeah, we can't we can't bring more wiring. I mean we What could we do? What could we do? We need to preserve Nala, I think, at this point. But then if the Persian comes in, it's no good. Uh, or let's weigh up our options. I mean, we could start getting damage onto the ground on here. Go for a Moonguys Beam and just switch into Incineroar. Get it down to minus one. And then potentially we've got Fake Out Trick Room the next turn. And we maybe call our opponent's bluff because that Cresselia's definitely got Trick Room. It would have just been better if we'd had Wide Guard here. We can Wide Guard and you see that's the problem. But if they're relying on Precipice Blades, we know it can miss, so... And it doesn't this time. 
Uh, but both actually take it, so that's that's good for us. And that taunt definitely wears off this next turn. Yeah, there's a taunt wearing off. So we've got the fake out this next turn. Um, now, do we call my opponent's bluff by going from Ingress Bleam into the crest? Going for fake out into the Groudon. I'm really kind of throwing here if they don't trick room, but I'm I'm banking on them trick room into reverse out trick room. Because at this point we kind of need trick room up to allow Mawile to kind of come in and do some work. Um, and they know we're going to fake out the ground on. I think that's like a given. Just if we don't see the trick room, that could be a little bit more difficult for us. There is lo there's logic behind my madness here. There is, but we're banking on it's never really that great relying on your opponent to kind of make that exact play. So there's the fake out. Nah, we're not gonna see it. Ah, oh, oh dear. Hmm. Okay. Well, this isn't. It's not the end of the world. Um, we have a pretty free switch into Kyogre now, um, and whether or not my opponent actually picks up on that, because we, we are going to wide guard and we're just going to switch in Kyogre. Whether or not my opponent picks up on this or not, and switches out that crowd on and adjusts from their side of the field, is another thing. I don't know. But if they keep the crowd on in, and the Cresselia on the field, and then... This next turn, we end up with a board position of Lunala Kyogre. I'll, I think we're in a pretty good position to start doing some decent damage this next turn because I think one of the things we can potentially do that next turn is go Water Spout and Trick Room because you kind of then prepping for the Persian coming onto the field with the Kyogre um, and it gives you that free turn to set the Trick Room at what, when you want and potentially you could do if we're really feeling ballsy about it is switch to Kyogre at that turn. We do Trick Room. And get more while onto the field, and then we've got more while under a trick room, yeah, and the Kyogre in the back, yeah. So, yeah. and this is a turn I'm talking about. This is where I think we could potentially trick room and um, switch more while in, but whether or not it's worth it, whether or not we just go for a water spot while we've got the opportunity to, because we're in a good position now to get rid of the Cresselia. Um, do some hefty damage to that Persian if it does come in. And also get some decent chip damage onto the, the Kyogre. Because we know it's going to come in on the ground on slot. Oh, it's actually not. Okay. It's interesting. Yeah, we're going to get rid of this Chrysalia. And we know the, Ky the opposing Kyogre has got Origin Pulse, Water Spout. I could imagine it has Water Spout. Probably got Ice Beam. Or they could have Thunder as well. Can't discount that. And I can't remember from the previous match we played against a guy if, 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 he, did, if he had the exact same team. If that's what he went for. Uh, so the Persian coming onto the field now. Obviously can't. I can just wide guard. And water spout. Or do we wide guard? And switch into more. I think we switch into more while here. Yeah, that with because I think the opposing Kyle that hits the field now. If that Groudon stays in, it goes Presmus Blades. If anything, I think because it can't go Fire Punch. Me. Yeah, there's a Groudon switch. We'll probably see a foul play from the Persian into the Lunala. It might not fake out. There's a fake out, yeah. I'm trying to stop the Kyogre this turn, but it's not gonna really work. Um, I 
things are freezing I hope it, it, it it's not affecting the recording here so um I think what we'll do is we'll go out with Lunala I'll bring in our own Kyoga and I'm gonna go do I do I attack the Persian and just wide guard I think I'm just gonna wide guard and I'm gonna go for a play rough mega evolve play rough into the Persian here because with Origin Pulse, I just don't think the Kyogre's got a way to, like, really heavily damage the Mowile. Could have Ice Beam, and it's got to go for it into the Lunala this turn. Persian doesn't, and hardly ever carries Protect. Like, very rarely. So, I think the, the play rough into this slot is pretty, pretty reliable. Yeah, there's the Protect from the Kyogre. And we get rid of the, the Persian. There's no way Persian ever takes this in a million years. And then the next turn, when the Groudon comes in, uh, I think we play rough the Kyogre. We switch Lunala route for our Kyogre to get the rain back up because I feel like the Groudon goes Fire Punch into the Mowile. We should pick up the knockout onto the Kyogre with our Mowile. Um, and then we'll be able to wrap things up quite easily with our Kyogre. He says, so this is what we'll do. We'll switch out Lunala into Kyogre, get that rain back up, like I say. We'll play rough into the Kyogre. And I think the Groudon here doesn't press with his blades because of the wide guard. I think he goes Fire Punch, and it's likely into the Mowile. And if he does that, then we catch him with that, uh, with our weather coming back in. And we should, like I say, pick up the knockout onto Kyogre with play rough from this point. All going well, of course. So, let's see what my opponent does. They might just mind read me though, and just see right through this play. But you never know. So, Lunala coming out. Kyogre, overwrite this rain. Overwrite the rain. Overwrite the rain with the rain. Overwrite the sun, I should be saying. Come on, think. Think before you speak, Lee. Play rough. Does connect. This is a good Mowile. Clever Mowile. Takes down the Kyogre. I'm taking advantage of our trick room turns. Oh, my opponent reached through that very nicely. Okay, going for the precipice blades. We get a bit lucky there with our Kyogre. Mowile, unfortunately, will go down now. So that is a nice play there for my opponent. We could have just stayed in wide guarded. Um, but now I think we like we completely 100% uncategorically lock this game with wide guard. Um, with the rain out on the field. This is something I used to like doing in 2016. I used to kind of set up this board position like this um, with my Kyogre hit on top because I had the wide guard um, and as long as I could wide guard and the rain was up there was no way opposing Groudon unless it carried like Rock Slide could, could hit us. So, um, And you kind of just seal the game from this point. We're just going to see a protect from the Groudon. Maybe just stalling out the trick room here. Um, scouting out what we've got potentially as well. Um, we're revealing that skull. The trick room does end, but not really going to matter too much now. And we will wide guard. And we will scald, and that should be game. Just say, Lemoncello. Come on, my friend. There we go. There's the wide guard now. Locking those horrible precipice blades. See the ground does that speed up our Kyogre, which we already need from the Trippian turns anyway. And there's a Scald, and this will be more than enough to pick up that knockout and lock the game for us. And very good game to a very good opponent once again, and uh, that will be the end of this episode, guys. So I really hope you've enjoyed today's episode. I hope you're looking forward to the rest of the week. Obviously, the two variations of Lunala that we'll be playing, it'll be great to hear your opinions on both variants. Obviously, just a big shout out to Fabian again, and keep your eyes peeled on the channel for information about that Rod to Ranked Roulette series that will be starting next week. I would really love to hear your opinions on that and what you think about it and what your thoughts are dropping the the kind of the, the daily battle series replacement with that. It's kind of going to be the same thing. So we're going to be playing on the battle spot anyway. It's going to be Rod to Ranked, but we're just making it a bit harder for ourselves by having just random Pokemon that are nominated by you guys and... Um, I think at the same time by doing that it's going to really kind of open up the creativity door with how we're going to try and put these random six Pokemon that have come out on a Wheel of Fortune together on a roulette and try and make them work on the on the, the Battle Spot ladder and see how far we can get and the gimmicks are going to be for real, the memes will be real and I think just having that interaction between 
myself and you guys is going to be what really does appeal and it's going to be a lot of laughs like i've said i think it's going to be really funny and we'll we'll make sure we capture reactions and stuff like that to stuff because i think it'll be a really good series and a lot of fun and something if it is successful we'll do every year at the end of every vgc season to take us into that new one so thank you so much for tuning in guys have a great rest of your day whatever you're up to i will see you all for the next one and thank you so much again for all your support comments and everything like that and uh, just make sure you have a great day whatever you're up to so until the next one. Bye-bye.